So, what is LED tape, and how do I hook it up to my lighting console? Well, I'm David Henry from LearnStagelighting.com, and in this video, I want to show you the basics of just setting up some basic LED tape real quick with a lighting console. So, it doesn't matter what lighting console you use, in fact, for this demo, I'm going to use Entex DMXs, and I'm just going to use some basic LED tape, okay? So, this is some basic RGB LED tape, and we're going to hook it up and show you everything you need to do. So, the first thing you need to do is get your LED tape, get a DMX decoder box. Um, I'll link to a few that I like here. The one I'm using is really just a cheap one on Amazon. Um, if you are going to permanently install it, I'd go with something a little nicer, like the Entech box that I'll link to below. And uh, then you're going to need a power supply. So you're going to need to calculate how much power your LEDs are going to take and then size your power supply appropriately. Now, I'm not going to go into detail here, but like a lot of things, if you pick a power supply that's too big, that's really not going to be a problem. So um, I recommend people always aim just a little bit high so that you have a little bit of breathing room. Now, we're going to hook up our power supply to our DMX decoder box. And the way we're going to do this is, first of all, if your power supply doesn't have a power cord on it, we've got to add one of those. Then we're going to go ahead and take some wire that's appropriately sized for the amount of power we're going to draw, or bigger, and we're going to connect that from the 12 volt output, in this case because I'm using 12 volt LED tape, to our DMX decoder box. Now we're going to wire up some DMX pigtails to our decoder box. You can do an in and an out, or just an input if that's all you need, and I just chopped up a DMX cable for this, and I'm inserting it and screwing it down with the screw terminals. Now, the last thing we're going to do is hook up our LEDs. If you've got a unit like I have, we're going to either need to solder onto our individual LED strip, or take off the supplied connector that came with them, and uh, cut that off, and then strip those wires so that we can insert them and hook them up to our decoder box. Obviously, the red, green, and blue is going to be our uh, red, green, and blue LEDs. This particular strip also has white LEDs, but I'm not going to hook them up in this video. Um, if you could, if you wanted, you could hook them up to a different one of the three channel outputs um, if needed. And then the um, constant, or the ground, or the minus, as it's sometimes called, um, is the black or the V plus again. I've, I've seen this called so many things uh, before across different LED tapes that, you know, it's never really consistent, but get the colors matched up appropriately and then get your voltage matched up. Then, once this is all hooked up, we're going to hook it up to our console. Just go ahead. I'm going inside DMXs here. I'm patching a basic three-channel LED fixture, just a red, green, blue. And then, when I move the faders, I can see, hey, my LEDs respond, and I'm able to control them via the DMX. Now, if you found this interesting or want more, be sure to check my full post about pixels and LED tape over at LearnStageLighting.com. And for more in-depth tutorials, be sure to check out Learn Stage Lighting Labs. I'm David Henry, and I hope you have a great day and create some awesome lighting this week. Thanks.